So here I am in Paris along the Rue de Rivoli, also known as the number one cycle route. And I've been riding a lot of wide, wide bike paths here in Paris, and it's lovely and it's wonderful. And you feel there's a buffer of safety when they're that wide. When you're a visitor and you ride it, you're kind of like, I, I can't believe this exists like this. So what they did here along the Rue de Rivoli, they first made a two-way protected bike path, and it worked very well for a little while, but very quickly during COVID when people started using the bicycle even more, this two-way lane was not enough. And so they eventually took back another lane of traffic so they could have one full lane for the bicycles going west and another one going east. So you have really two-thirds of this street devoted to bicycling and one-third of vehicles, trucks, cars, private cars, taxis, and even buses have to share that one narrow lane over there and they can't even pass each other. So it's pretty remarkable what they've done here and what Paris has been doing to build wide bike paths. And what we're not doing in New York City is we're not building for the future. We're building for now and sometimes to get new lanes in, it takes a while. So our bike lanes in New York City are getting very crowded. And again, we're talking all kinds of wheeled devices. We've got scooters, we've got bikes, we've got e-bikes, we've got throttle bikes, we've got mopeds. UPS just announced they're going to be running delivery vehicles. And they're wider than a lot of bikes, and they're definitely longer, uh, much bigger than in your average cargo bike. So we need to find some space to start separating those two classes of vehicles too, the slower ones with the faster ones, because it's creating quite a dangerous situation. My bicycle versus vehicles traffic counts on 1st and 2nd Avenue showed very large numbers of bicycles. And remember, this was a year ago when we were just starting to come out of the first part of the COVID uh, epidemic. It showed bicycles rivaling the number of cars for use on these streets. When you ride the Rue de Rivoli, it's an amazing experience. There are a lot of bicycles around you. There's a mix of people going different speeds. And when you have this much width, on a roadway, then when somebody goes past you pretty quickly, they're not going by right by your shoulder, they're going by a few feet, maybe even as much as five or six feet away from you. I'm calling out to our mayor and our New York City DOT and all of our council people. We need some mandatory width. We want to keep continuing to encourage other people to start biking. And if they start seeing bike lanes that are congested and dangerous and scary, well then, we're gonna be stuck where we are. So, let's get to work. Let's start widening some of these lanes. First Avenue is very crowded. Second Avenue, also very crowded. Sixth Avenue, we just completed, but there's times during the day, especially between 23rd Street and 50th, where it is chock full of bicycles. Looking at places like Kent Avenue in Brooklyn, uh, the Brooklyn waterfront in general, I'd also say, the Queensboro Bridge is extremely dangerous, so we need to start getting that south outer roadway opened to accommodate all the people so that we can get the walkers, the runners, joggers, people in wheelchairs to the other side so they feel a lot safer. 